hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's still a word that I've got a channel and I'm actually trying to make it work. But yeah, thank you for coming back if you've seen any of my other videos. Or thank you if you're new here. I'm Lucy and yeah, I'm just trying to create a little bit of varied content just to see what goes down well and then we can kind of go from there. That being said, this video is a favourites video. And I have had this on my list for a long time to film because personally it's what I watch on YouTube and I think you can really get to know somebody by their favourite products and what they like to use. If you want to see my favourite things, and trust me it's not just makeup, there's some questionable things in my favourites video that you'll find out. If you want to see what they are, then yeah, just keep watching. I don't know where to start. Let's start with skincare. So skincare, if you've had your makeup done by me, you'll know that I'm obsessed with this. So this is Aveeno. This is amazing. This is the lotion, so this is a really good thing to say. The lotion's a lot lighter in formula than the actual cream. That being said, it's still really thick. I have oily skin, as you can probably see, I'm shining like a beacon right now. I'm oily, but this is great if you've got eczema or really, really dry skin. Um, and it's good for me too, so I tend to use this on all my clients before makeup to prep the skin. Um, and I like to slather this on at night time before I go to sleep and I wake up and it's good. Before this I was using a very expensive moisturiser, which is £58 a pop, and... This is just as good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. this is just as good. So another moisturizer now while we're on the topic is this one. So this is the Nip and Fab Kale Moisturizer. This is really nice too. It's got a bit of a funny smell, but I'm not mad at it. Um, it's really nice. It feels quite syrupy as well as creamy. It feels like a mixture of both. So I do frit between both, but I always. Going back to my OB now, really. I do like this though. I don't know, that's what I am. This is like a new obsession of mine, but it's nearly empty, so that's how you know something's good. So this is the Elizabeth Arden. Oh, my wrist just clicked. Eight hour cream. I love the smell. It smells like a warm hug. <laughs> it smells like a hug. I don't know, it's beautiful. So this is really nice um, on the collarbones um, as a highlighter, as a lip balm, through the brows to fluff them up, everywhere. If you've got a cup, you can put it on. Um, it's amazing, it's an all round winner. And I've just been sent a brand new one of these, so, which is a coincidence because I've only just started using it, but I love it so much. I, I couldn't live without this now. Whoa, that's a bit clear. In terms of nighttime routine. Right, okay, so this is literally everything to me. If I didn't have this in my life now, I'd be very sad. I'm obsessed. Utan and Zone Coconut Water. It's a miracle, it's an actual miracle. So I started using this because Jamie Genevieve raved about it and if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with her. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go. It's quite expensive. It's quite spenny. <laughs> it's quite expensive. You can get it from Superdrug though, which I'm a fan of because, you know, when you're doing your sweet round holes, get it in the basket. It's always on offer though, so I never pay more than £15. I think full price it's like 18 and I must admit I do go through like one every two weeks because, anyway, it's a fake tan. It's a fake tan. But I use it on my whole body, so it's only supposed to be for your face. But I literally uh, use it everywhere. So I'm going to put some on now. Because it's a spray, I can do like behind my shoulders and not have to get his to turn my back, which is a bonus. It literally just gives you, it looks like you're tanned. It looks like you've been hammering the sunbeds without the damage. So yeah, and I swear to God, like, it actually shrinks my pores. On my face when I wake up the next day, I, I just feel brown and like my pores have gone. But anyway, it's an all-rounder. I could go on about this for ages, but I'm going to stop there. You need it in your life. Okay. Another skincare product, The Ordinary Focus, is the Salicylic Acid 
2% solution for blemish prone skin. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I've got some situations happening right now. Some would call them actual boils. And trust me, I used to have acne when I was young and I've been through it. I don't really get spots these days, I'm older now, don't really get spots, but at the minute, I don't know if it's a change in weather, <sighs> something's happening. So I've been using this, um, my boyfriend calls it the spot solution, so he's been rinsing it too. Look, it's, can you see, it's literally nearly empty. If I've used something, all of it, or most of it, you know I'm not lying when I say it's amazing because I'm using it. So this, it's actually an exfoliation treatment. So I'll put this on instead of my moisturiser of an evening if my skin feels like it needs a bit of a deep cleanse, if you like. So obviously, I always double cleanse. So I use another favourite here. My Johnson's Wipes. This is what I do. I use these first to take off most of my makeup because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I wear a lot of makeup. So I use these first and then I will cleanse my skin. I'm using the Glossier um, cleanser at the moment. And then I'll obviously dry it and moisturise with what I said before or swap out my moisturiser for this. Probably like twice a week because it is quite... Um, I want to say invasive, but that's not the right word. Abrasive? It comes in a little pipette. Cute! So I just do probably like half a pipette into my hands and then push it onto the skin. Uh, I avoid my eye area too, I don't know if you should. Just feels like I shouldn't put it on my eyes. Then moving on to body, body, odd, odd. So this is the moisturiser. Garnier. Beauty, oil beauty, beauty oil. It smells amazing. Argan, macadamia, almond and rose. <sighs> smells a little bit like holidays and sunbeds. Like burnt skin. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It feels soft on your skin. It doesn't feel sticky, which I like. I like slathering that on after a bath. I like the word slather, don't I? Slathering it on after a bath and then putting some nice... Clean PJs on, not sexy ones, the probably most grumpiest ones you can find, whatever. And then, yeah, getting into bed and having a very good night's sleep. So, another body product, don't know how we feel about sunbeds, but this, so Australian Gold Accelerator. I have got ginger skin. My mum is a natural ginger, it's in my jeans. I'm not ginger, like, this is my natural colour. I wouldn't mind if I was, but I'm just saying my skin is ginger. I'm very freckly, you know, like when the sun's out, all I do is go freckly. I don't even really burn. This actually makes me brown. So if I'm going on holiday, I probably have about two or three sunbed sessions a week. Not for long, just to get my tan going. I put this all over my body and I swear, my cousin even said like, I don't know anybody that's trained their body to actually go brown, um, but me. So yeah, it actually, I did get a really, really, really good tan in the summer with that. So if you do struggle to tan and you're going away, prep your skin with that. I do use that on holiday as well. Um, obviously I use sun cream, but I mix it in with my sun cream and it just helps. It's got vitamins in too, so native oils and vitamin E, so. It works. I use other ones too of the same range, but there's nothing I like more than this one. So I think this is the original. I'm gonna move on to make up. Start with brows. This Primark focus. This Primark brow pencil, skinny brow pencil, two pound. It's an exact dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I was using the NYX ones for a while, but I prefer these. Um, and the only colour I suggest getting is dark brown because I got a blondie one and it was like khaki green on the eyes so because you know me like if you, I've had my brows HD the other day actually so they're quite dark and we've got actual no product in now but I do normally like a top pencil but I find that if you sketch in with this lightly it gives the same effect so 
definitely and it's got a spoolie on the end which is good just to get excess product out while we're on the topic of brows so this is my little quad inspired by holly flynn <laughs> i feel like everyone that's ever had a lesson with holly has got one of these <laughs> This is the main colour here, this bad boy in the corner. This is Charcoal Brown, a single shadow from MAC in the refills. A few extras in there for my darker head peeps, but really, I just use Charcoal Brown on everyone. I use an angle brush, any angle brush, but a really fine one ideally, and a little bit of Fix Plus or water just to wet it. Um, I mainly focus that on the arch of the brow if I'm wetting the brush just because it's stronger and then I'll use it dry through the front just fluffing it in. Sometimes I draw little hairs with it. That's what you need. This, if you haven't tried it, you are missing a trick. It's the best. It's so good for everything you could possibly want it to do. So I use this as a base for eyeshadow and under the eye of clients because a little, a little uh, inside scoop I don't wear concealer under my eyes and um, I like my freckles to show through so I must be the only person in this world that doesn't wear concealer under the eyes but I don't like it so yeah I use this under clients eyes and coverage for any spots I've not even said what it is Barry M all night long full coverage concealer uh, the colour that I pick up the most, because I go through these a lot, is number three, Cookie. I do suggest getting all of these. They are gorgeous. The coverage is a joke. Such good coverage, but it doesn't look cakey at the same time. Foundation, okay. okay my ultimate, 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 ultimate favourite foundation is this. Nip and Fab. It's the only colour I'd say to get is number 40 and then get the white mixer as well so it's in the same bottle and it's white and it's just number 00 so if you are a white girl like me and you like to wear fake tan then this mixed with a little bit of white is perfect when I've got tan on and I haven't rinsed you know <laughs> trying to make the most of that tan then I'll just wear this on its own but then on the in between days where the tan's fading I just add a little bit more of the white one and it just dilutes it to make the most beautiful olive foundation colour and I'm all about the cool tones rather than cheesy what's it tones and don't be fooled like it looks tiny but this is 30ml so this is your average foundation size so you know like NARS sheer glow all the NARS ones all you're paying for is packaging no shade on NARS absolutely love them and um, the newer foundation the Longwear one, that is another one of my favourites. But for cost effective reasons, I go through this out water on myself and clients. Another foundation is MAC Face and Body. If this isn't a staple in every makeup artist kit, then what are you playing at? This is amazing. You can use this on every, everyone, every skin type. Every outcome you want to create with a foundation, this is your girl. So I have three colours in this. I have N1, so neutral one, C4, cool four, and then C5, which is just a little bit darker. Um, I love blending this down people's necks, including myself. It makes you look like you've got that Sally Hansen leg tan stuff on your body. It's really nice, but I mix this into every foundation. Um, because it's water resistant as well. Um, it's really hydrated on the skin, blah 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 blah. I've gone about this for ages. This is a big size, this is from the Pro Store. You can get 30ml sizes too. I digress, you get the hint. The product that you won't really have heard of is this holy schnizzle of life goals in a product. So this is by a brand called Bronx Colours without the U and it's a Swiss brand if I am correct and this is the compact powder in CP02 and I swear to god this stuff is like a filter for the skin. I don't really like the look of powder under the eyes on anyone especially not myself and um, older clients I avoid it but if you use this it 
fills in any lines, I swear. It's magic. It's literally like Facetune in a powder. So this is really good. I think it's only £12, but I'm not sure if you have to pay a lot of customs on this. I'm not sure. But I'll leave it linked below. Everybody needs to try this. Number two is good. Number one if you're really fair, but number two if you're similar to me. Favourite highlighter? The original one. Whoa, that's reflective. <laughs> From Doll Beauty. Shine bright and like a diamond. These two. I've got the new one too, which I love, but I just always, always go back to this one. Um, yeah. This is, you know. Everybody knows by now how good Doll Beauty are. They're my favourite brand for lashes too. I'm just going to put it out there. Glitter is my life. I work for the Gypsy Shrine, so glitter is my life. This is a glitter product by Urban Decay, and I purchased this like three or four times because I always lose it. Oh my god, it's stuck, it's a brand new one. <laughs> no, please. Oh yeah, I've opened it. Oh, it's Midnight Cowboy. Can you focus, please? Deliciousness. This is really good if you want to do like a spotlight eye or a look I did yesterday was with the copper colour of this and I did just did like a little line under the lashes and it just adds an element of drama and sparkle. How nice would this look on the eyes? Bonfire night mascara. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational or Sensexual, I like to call it. This just stays really juicy for ages and I know that's disgusting to say but my pet peeve is when a mascara is dry but we recycle dry mascaras around here so if that has happened to you lately and you're like damn what a waste of money use it as a brow product i love dried out old mascaras fluffed up through brows even black ones if they're really dry it just picks out all the hair and lifts it so but you don't get that with this this stays juicy for ages and it gives your lashes so much curl too and it comes off really easily. Okay, <laughs> I could get carried away, but this is why they're my favourites. Is a good all rounder, again for the old makeup kit, or just if you've got a lot of products that need a bit of life. This is the Inglot Dura line. I use this to actually blend out eyeshadow. Learned that off Kaylee. She's the bomb with techniques for makeup. She's amazing. But use it to revive products that have died, so like pomades and gel eyeliners. So like the Inglot gel liner in 77, I love, but I have to use the tiniest little drop of Duraline and it just helps it glide. Just so you've got a smooth liner. <laughs> it's amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend that. A couple more products for makeup. Makey, 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 makey. I'm yet to find a product that smashes this one out of the park. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is dark tan, but my favorite ever, ever, ever color is dark golden. Um, I've got that in my own makeup kit. Ew, what is that? It's nice and cool, so it's still warm, but without a bit orange. This one's a little bit more orange. I'm not mad at it though, it's nice. Um, I like Give Me Sun, I like Light Plus, I like Medium Plus as a bronzer on Really Fair People, love that one. I need to actually get some more. I've run out of quite a few. Um, and another MAC product. If you didn't know, I used to work at MAC. I've been trying to wean myself. Weaned? Or wean? Wind. <laughs> myself off their products, but there's some that I just the best and I have to repurchase. It's been one, I've been through three of these. It's a blusher. MAC blushes last years. Extra dimension blush in Fairly Precious. This is like a highlighter blusher. It literally gives you skin dimension so I like it to kind of go here to blend in with the highlight just so it carries it on and lifts and adds a bit of colour. It's amazing. I love what else do I have for you? What else, what else, what else? I do have a hair video. If you've not seen it, please go and watch it. It was my most requested thing to film, you know, while getting a YouTube channel going and all that. Um, obviously I've got extensions at the minute, which 
never thought would happen, but we're just trying it out for a month or so. Because I do love my short hair so much and I get compliments every single day when I actually ask myself to style it. But we're just having a break and going steady shinny life at the minute. If you want to see my hair video, I'll leave it linked down below if I can work that out because I'm still quite new to this YouTube situation. But I'm going to mention these anyway in this video. So dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is life. When you are blonde, it hides your roots. Um, I do wash my hair a lot to be fair. I'm struggling now I've got these extensions in not to wash it more. I mean, I mean, not to wash it less. I don't know what I mean. Anyway, Paul, Phil, <laughs> Phil Smith. Big it up, dry shampoo. So this shampoo actually cleans your hair. Um, it freshens it up, it's amazing. It doesn't feel bitty. You know like some dry shampoos feel like powdery, like literal talcum powder in your hair. That doesn't, it like spruces up and it's, it's phenomenal. You definitely need to try that. And then this one's really nice too. Obviously the OG of dry shampoo is Batiste. Um, the only one I use is this blush one. I find the other smells horrendous. So this is really gorgeous. If my roots are looking particularly dark, then I do use this to more like colour it in a little bit white to try and disguise the fact that I need to come see my girl, Becca. I think that's everything. If you want to see any more videos like this or like monthly favourites and for me to make it like more of a thing, then let me know in the comments below. Um, let me also know like what other kind of videos you want to see from me because I'm still trying to like find my feet with it all. Basically creating loads of various content of my life and things that I enjoy and then going from there really. But I want to know your thoughts, your thoughts. I hope you've liked this video and found out a little bit more about me too because that's why I like to on these favourites videos to have a little bit of a nosy and an insight into somebody as a person. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, please spur me on, yeah add me on Instagram, I'll leave everything after this. So thank you so much for watching, bye bye.